Te ve la próxima vez que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings. Other great men, the very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que yo la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes, the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Bien. Vamos, hermanos. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I ain't the judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you a bill. And Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die? 
Whoa. to save your own skin. And now, <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You never won! You got it this job! you now. I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's for the agenda. Come on. Revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess leaving each other for dead. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put it in the cell for now, John. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Oh, you piece of shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto. Ah! Oh. One day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army is what coming. Aquí? Get up there and man that cannon.
Rangers! Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> That's good. 